You ever just cry? Listen, 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 listen. Just got off a flight. Went to Boston. I'm getting ready because I'm going to improv class. So I got on the flight at 9 a.m., landed at 2, came home, improv class at 7. And I know what you're thinking, like, couldn't you have taken a nap? And it's like, no, I gotta unpack, I gotta do all my stuff. And also, I cannot nap during the day. I get so anxious every time I, if the sun's out, my head hits the pillow, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Anyways, anyways, so I went to Boston and I feel like, anytime I go home, like, not because it's bad, because like, I, I overeat every time. It's like going on vacation, like you have to overeat on vacation, or at least I do. And then I always get a fresh new zit when I go to Boston, always, without fail. And I come home and I'm bloated and it's like, listen, it's great to be nourished. <laughs> God knows I love it. But I also, you know, I enjoy working out. I don't really work out. I mean, I could, I just, I, I just get so lazy. I'm just like, mm, you know, I'm just like, uh, why don't I just not, you know? So I'm feeling very tired, feeling very bloated. Um, this pimple is so painful, but it's fine. And what I do, usually I don't put on makeup for improv class, but I feel like shit. So I'm going to, cause it makes me feel, you know, spruced up, ready to improv on these hoes. And that's kind of just that, but yo, Boston was crazy. Um, my friend's mom, she's like this like, classic Greek woman and she shows up. I'm like at my friend's house and she shows up and she's like, got arrested. And we're like, oh, <laughs> oh, go off. Like, then she was like, if I knew I was gonna get arrested, I would have popped the girl's eyes out. And I was like, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna just agree with you. That's all, that's all I gotta say. Um, just gonna agree. She scares the shit out of me. We all have that one friend's mom that like, scares us to all hell, right? Is that just me? Oh my gosh, she's so scary. She's great, I love her. I'm terrified of her. Um, anyways, that was that. And what I really need to talk to you about today is it was my birthday, happy Leo season. And that's why I went home, but I went to the strip club in LA the day before I went home. And that was a 10 out of 10. We recorded that night too for six feet above. It's in the description below. And you know what? I don't really have a lot to talk about today. Cause yeah, I went to Boston, I overate. I feel like shit, it was my birthday. Bada bing, bada boom, right? But some people asked some questions and I'm here to answer them. So if you ever have questions, comment below. I'm kind of good at giving advice. And by kinda, I mean, sometimes it's a hit and sometimes it's... Dude, I'm so tired, like I can't, I can't even, okay. I need advice on Raya. And Raya is a dating app that you have to get approved to be, to go on. It's way easier to get on now than it used to be. I was on it for a hot second, but then I met a man, had a situation with him and said, nope. But anyways, I need advice on Raya. I only match with people a thousand miles away from me. So I don't even know if it's worth it. Um, It's literally not, don't like, and if they offer to fly you out, do not do it. Um, I feel like people get on Raya just to say they're on it. Like when I was on it, people would barely have conversations or maybe they just like thought I was busted. I don't fucking know. But I mean, a lot of my friends too are like, nobody talks on Raya. You just have it to say you have it. And I think that's so fucking stupid because you have to pay $20 a month for this dating app just to say you have it. It's like not even hard to get into anymore. So like, what do you, and you always see the same celebrities on it. I don't know, I have met some cool people on it. So I'm not entirely shitting on it. It's like nice and like, it kind of eliminates the possibility of them catfishing you. I mean, they can still kind of catfish you, but you have to like have your license and your Instagram linked. And so you can do like a proper stock before like meeting up with them which like I feel like other dating apps, you don't get that much information about people and they can easily catfish. But um, okay, honestly, this pimple, it's like an accessory, you know? The best is when you get, oh, I literally, <laughs> I was like, the best is when you get zits right here. I literally have one right there. Um, It's like that little cute little mole zit. Wow, you really can have it all, you know? Boom, boom, no, no, no. Okay, another question. 
Someone said, show your feet for the love of God. You don't want to see these dogs right now, let me tell you. Okay, someone goes, question. How to get back into the dating game after a long hiatus? Um, this is interesting because for me, I'll take like really long hiatus and I just like step right back in. I don't really think about it. The, the, the move is just to not overthink it. Like, remember that you're the prize. <laughs> you are. They're auditioning for your show. So all you gotta do is just slip on those hooves and a cute dress. No, I'm not about to tell you what to wear. What the hell? Um, I don't even wear dresses. I, I hate dresses. Well, no, I like maxi dresses. The short dresses, A, the thighs rub together. I get the chub rub, I get the rash. Also with short dresses, I'm really tall. And I feel like if I bend over, <laughs> you're gonna see a lot of me. So anyways, how'd I get there? Yeah, so my advice is to just not overthink it. Like dating, it's always gonna be there, you know? So you just get back there when you're ready. Did I say it's always gonna be fun? <laughs> no, but it can be. Um, so yeah, my, what you should do is don't overthink it and go in with delusional level self-confidence. Like, what are they gonna tell you? Like, don't be confident. <laughs> That'd be insane. Then you'd leave the date. Like, just be really confident because they've never met you. So they don't know if you have low self-esteem. So you fake it till you make it. And eventually you start being really confident. You're like, damn, <laughs> who would have thunk? Um, take this all with a grain of salt. I'm very tired. <laughs> Got this Fenty Beauty for my birthday. It's so shiny, dude. I want to put on my yes, my yes chest. Um, but yeah, getting back into the dating game yeah, like go on the apps, do whatever you want. Like there's no, I was about to say there's no rules in dating. There is, don't act a fool. Um, but don't overthink it and don't push yourself. If you are like, oh, let me get back out there. And then like someone tries to set up a date and you're like, actually, I'm really not into this. Like you don't have to go on the date. Just don't push it. Like have, have fun with it. Like don't overthink it and have fun with it. Like for me, when it comes to dating, like I am at a place where, I also don't drink, keep that in mind. So if it's a horrible date, I can't like slam a few slammers and pretend like I'm having fun. So for me with dating, like I don't go on a lot of dates cause I'm only gonna go on the date if I know that we're gonna have a good time. So like we gotta FaceTime first. We gotta have a little laugh and then I'll go on the date. But um, so yeah, FaceTime them before meeting them. If you don't already know them, don't overthink it. Be really confident, and if you're not really confident, you fake it and have fun with it. And oh my god, you can leave the date if it sucks. Like, I feel like so many people have been on dates where they're like, oh my god, this is horrible. Dude, no creamer. It sucks. Um, yeah, I feel like so many people have been on dates where they're like, wow, this is actually so bad. Um, you can leave. You can leave. A simple call from your roommate. Or you can just literally be like, yeah, I'm leaving, but thank you. Um, maybe slap a 20 on the table. I don't know what you're getting, but guys, I need to stop talking because I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, but all I know to be true is Parallel Play, the variety show I have with my roommate, Harper Rose Drummond. We are doing an LA live show and a New York live show. LA is on the 25th of September and New York is on October 26th. Tickets are in the description. Tickets are in the description below. Purchase, please. We want to have fun with you, you know? So and maybe my zit will be gone by then, if you're lucky. Bye.